This video tutorial will provide you with a demonstration on how to use the conditional drop add feature. The conditional drop add feature allows you to drop a course only if you can successfully add another course. If the other course cannot be added, you will not be dropped from the course you selected to drop. This is a nice way to hold onto your seat in a class until another availability opens up. Only when you are added to the specific class will the other one be dropped. The first thing you need to do is to log into to Spot with your PID and password. If you have not yet enrolled in two-factor authentication, you will have to do so. Next, click on the Hokie Spa link at the right of the screen. Scroll down until you see the registration, add drops, and scheduled link. Click on this link to access the system where you can change your schedule. To access the system, click on the drop add register for classes link. From the drop down menu on the screen, select for which term you wish to register. It is important to note the dates when drop add is open. You can only change your schedule with this system during that time frame. The University Registrar's website contains dates for drop add for each semester. Click on the continue link to proceed. Click on the box beside conditional add drop to place a check in it. Choose a course you want to add. Click on the Add button to tentatively add it to your schedule. In this example, statistics for the social sciences will be added. Do not click Submit. Select the course you want to drop. Select the Drop Web option from the drop-down menu. In this example, introductory statistics will be dropped. Again, do not submit these changes until you have added one course and selected one for removal. Click on Submit to finalize your changes. Notice here that one course was added and one course was dropped. The course was only dropped since the other course was added. This, this is the feature of a conditional add and drop. If there are any errors, courses will not be added or dropped. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.